Greetings my friends, Zach Scott here, recording the same tutorial for the third time in a row because my microphone stupidly died on me the last time. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do some cool tricks with particles and children. Uh, you'll notice here that I'm starting out from basically where I left off my previous tutorial. Um, if you can remember that tutorial, I was trying to create a nice sphere of grass uh, as, as demonstrated in the video, uh, and way towards the end I hit a brick wall and all I could generate is this nasty little clump of, uh, telephone poles. Uh, well, I put that up and, uh, you know, I figured maybe somebody would, would, would find out what I was doing wrong, and user Gretico has stepped up to the challenge and shown me exactly where I was missing the mark. Um, the thing I was missing is there is a function on the render model, render, blah, 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 on the render models renderer, <coughs> that's too many renders, uh, which uh, is just called Orient Model Z to Normal, and I believe this does pretty much exactly that. And so when I tick that box, you'll notice, boom, all of my telephone poles stick out straight like uh, porcupine spines, so that's nice. Um, they're telephone poles, so that's less good. I'm just going to quickly change those to grass. So Aztec grass, because this is called Aztec grass. And I'm going to hit open. And I have a grass sphere. So all of the grass is sitting on the surface of the sphere and orienting towards the inside. So you'll see it's it kind of just sticks out uh, towards the exterior from wherever it is. This is a fairly um, patchy bit of grass. So I'm just going to increase the number of grass models from 100 to 750. Uh, I would recommend that you try not to use 750 in your models, but... Um, I'm just trying to get this done quickly. Uh, it's always good to optimize your particles, but the fun thing about doing them in the particle editor is you can make them really nasty the first time and, and, and just rough, and then once you're pretty much done with your video, you can go back in and, and clean them up so that your render speeds aren't, aren't ridiculous. Or you could do vice versa, where you have your particle really, really light at the start, and then right at the very end you crank everything up so that you don't have to work with a very laggy particle. Um, but yeah, so I have my particle grass. Um, as you may remember, in my original uh, video, I had created a particle called Grass Particle. Uh, I'm just going to call this parent. And uh, in that tutorial, I left that particle empty uh, for a very specific reason. And that reason is because I just want this particle to be a parent for the children that I'm about to plug into it. Into it. Blah. Plug into it. Plug into children. That does not sound right. Huh. Anyway. Uh, so, what I'm going to use is, is, is this particle to act as a container, and I'm going to have other particles inside of it. So, we're going to be dealing with some particle inception going on. Uh, <coughs> first thing I want to do is add that uh, nice grass exterior that I, I mentioned before. So, I'm going to go into the children tab uh, and add a new child. So, in this case, grass exterior shell A. Boom. So now I have a particle which is basically the same as my other particle, um, but not for very much longer. Uh, there's, you'll notice there's still a couple of holes in here. If I change the color here to be red, you can, you can see quite a bit of red showing through around the edges, and those are just all the holes, gaps between the, the different sheets of grass here. Um, so I need to thicken that out. So I've gone ahead and made a, bleh, gone ahead and made a slightly smaller version of this grass. Uh, which is going to sit inside of this sphere and kind of just uh, fill it out so that nothing really shines through. So I have this this less less clean grass here, um, where the grass is just evenly distributed throughout and uh, somewhat larger, um, but less clean. So I'm going to go back into my particle parent and I'm going to drop it in as a child. So here is grass interior. So now I have a particle, which is essentially two particles in one. Uh, but we can go deeper than that. So I've gone ahead and in my previous versions of this tutorial made a couple of uh, alterations or Sorry, not alterations uh, Additional effects here. So uh, I'm just gonna go through that again quickly uh, Let's say we want to add some flowers to this grass. So I'm gonna make a duplicate of my original grass uh, shell Duplicate that and I'm gonna call this particle grass details D and I'm just going to change the model here from being grass to being flowers. So I will open up the sequence zero model option and I'm going to find some flowers. What do we got here? Nope, not an error. How about a flower? Where is it? That's a flower. How about just a single flower? There we go. 
There we go. There's a flower. It even has an animation. But I don't care. Boom. Now we have a huge amount of flowers. Probably way too many flowers. So I'm going to knock this down from 100 to... Eh. 40. So that's cool. Actually, 20. And I'm going to go to my particle parent. And I'm going to add those flowers in. So, add... Uh, details D. So now, as you can see, uh, kind of scattered randomly throughout my grass sphere are some little flowers. So there's some flowers there. Oops. There's some flowers. And it just kind of uh, gives it a little bit of detail so it's not all completely uniform. And I can keep going here, so I have a, a bunch of details that I've added. So A is, I've added some mushrooms, uh, which I've made previously before. And I'm going to throw in uh, some rocks, so that's cool. And maybe some trees. Boom. So you can see how I've quickly just made one simple particle, which contains a couple of duplicates of the particle with a, with a few things changed, and I've made a, a sort of randomized little uh, ball of grass with some stuff on it. So that's cool. Uh, I think that's about as deep as I want to go on this right now. Um, but hopefully you now are getting some ideas of the uh, awesome power of children within particles. That's right. All of the best particles are fueled by children. Uh, anyway, I'm Zach Scott. Take it easy. Have a good uh, Memorial Day and uh, make some cool stuff. Peace.